Hello Internet, so today I thought I'd do a quick video on how I upgraded my Samsung Galaxy Tab S uh, up to uh, the Android 7. Uh, so this is actually running Lineage OS and it's actually Lineage OS version 14, I think it's 14.1. Now, uh, so Android 7 is available for this tablet, but I don't think you can go any later than that. So Android 10, I couldn't find a, a ROM for this specific uh, tablet. So. Uh, the model number of this tablet, this is the uh, SMT-700, I believe. And this is the original uh, Galaxy Tab S, and this is the 8.4-inch um, uh, version. So, we go under Settings here, and we go under About Tablet. We can see, or I can see, uh, that this is um, Lineage version OS 14.1-202, lots of different numbers. So... Uh, and the Android itself is 7.1.2. Um, again, I might find another way of putting this up on the screen because there's no way you're going to see that there. Um, so, again, I'll put this up on the screen here. But this is um, the most important part is this Klimt Wi-Fi, if that makes <laughs> sense. Because that's the version of the Lineage OS you need to download for this tablet because you want the wi-fi version for my tablet because this doesn't have the mobile um sim input um if you had the lte version then you then yeah, yes you would need a different rom file uh, because this is just the wi-fi only tablet um then that is the version we need okay so let's jump on the computer and have a look at the files we actually need uh, okay so this is the four files we uh need let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it so we have Odin, download the latest version of, of Odin. Now this allows us to access and download ROM files from the PC onto the device. So second one is Lineage 14.1. Now this is the latest version of um, the Lineage OS that runs on this one here, Klimit Wi-Fi. Again, so that is our um, tablet. Again, I'll put the link for that in the in the description. Now, Lineage OS on its own does not have Google Apps installed, so we need the Google Apps. So this one here, it says 7.1, so that is for um, Android 7.1. Now, this is the Nano version, so this will just install like the Play Store and I think maybe the, the Google Internet Browser. It doesn't, doesn't have anything else. So again, you can download the rest of it through the Play Store if you uh, desire. Third thing, we, uh, fourth thing we need is this thing here. It's called TWRP. And again, if you go to their website, you need to make sure you download the specific recovery file for your device. So again, this is the Klimit Wi-Fi, which is which is our tablet. Um, so what this does is this overwrites the uh, original recovery drive on the Samsung tablet so that then we can use this cool little hack thing to uh, install our um, Lineage OS. But again, we'll cover that in a minute. It will come pretty clear. So what we now need to do, we can jump back over to the um, tablet itself. So you want to go ahead and turn the tablet off. Okay, so once we turn the tablet off, we need to um, turn it on into what's called download mode. And we're going to be downloading the um, the TWRP recovery mode. So we hold the power button and the down button and the home button. So volume down, power and the home button. So you want to hold that. Don't let go of it and we'll see it come up on the screen here. So warning, custom blah, 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 blah. So up volume to continue. Okay, so we make sure our cable is connected to the PC. So our cable is plugged in. And now we can jump back over uh, to Odin. So we go on to Odin and run it as an admin. Okay, so let's just make this a bit bigger so you can you can see. So this is our tablet here connected to com4 we need to load our recovery so we click the ap and then it's this one here twrp again make sure you are downloading the correct file for your tablet and you find that on their website again i will have a link for this one in the description so we click that one 
Now, importantly, this is where I got stuck when I tried to do it. So under this options one here, we want to turn off auto reboot. So click start and we will see, hopefully up here, pass. There we go. So that is it. That's all we need to do on that. So we can exit out of Odin. Now that that says pass, we can exit. Okay, so now that we've flashed the recovery onto the uh, device, we now need to load up that recovery mode. Now, the problem I had the first time with the original um, tab file is from this screen, if I chose the auto reboot, when it rebooted the the Galaxy, uh, the original Galaxy ROM, it would overwrite the uh, recovery mode and I couldn't figure out how to uh, get it into the what's called the TWRP mode. So from this screen, I've turned off the auto reboot. Now we flash the recovery mode on. We need to get this back to the powered off mode without rebooting it. Now I think what we do is we do the home button, the power, uh, the home button, the volume down and the power, and we just hold that until the device goes off. Or is it the up one? Can't remember, we'll soon find out. So we hold that. Ah. See, we don't want that. There we go. Right. So that's what we wanted. We wanted to turn it off without rebooting it. Okay, so now we're ready to um, to load up the recovery mode that we've just flashed onto the device. So to do that, we do the same technique, but we hold the power, the volume up, and the home button, and you don't let go of that until it until it loads up. So power, volume up, and the home button. Let's take the cable out. Power, volume up, home button. Right, there we go. So keep holding it, power, volume up, and the home button. And we should now boot into not the default recovery mode, but our new flashed recovery mode, which is this one here, the um, TWRP. So on that first screen, make sure you slide the button that says enable modifications, but it's the only way to advance anyway. So what you want to do now is if you for me, I had a default device anyway, so I didn't need to back anything up, but you can click the backup. So you want to back your device up. So backup. Okay, if you want to back up all the files. And then what we want to do is we want to wipe the device. So you click wipe. Okay, so wipe. Okay, so once you've wiped the device, go back and we want to install. So now we need to transfer onto the device. We need to transfer our uh, Lineage OS and our Google Apps. Now, the easiest way to do this is actually put those files onto an SD card. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take out my... SD card. Okay. So we want to plug that SD card into the PC, our Lineage OS and our Google Apps. We then copy those and we go over to our SD card, paste those on. Okay, so we've copied our two files onto our SD card. We can go ahead, we can remove our SD card and we can actually get rid of our PC because we don't need that anymore. Go ahead and put our SD card into our, back into our tablet. Okay. Okay, so if you've just put the SD card in, we may need to reboot it, but we want to reboot it. Make sure you reboot it back into the recovery mode, okay? Okay, so now we've rebooted it back into our recovery mode. We click install. 
and uh, select our storage. So we're on our micro SD card, click OK. And then we can see here, we got our two files. We've got our lineage. So that's our operating system that are gonna be installing and our open um, Google apps. So let's go ahead, we'll install the lineage first. So go ahead, we'll flash this one. So if everything goes through correctly and you've got the correct file, um, it will go through on here. It will come up with an error if you've got like the wrong version for the tablet. So it's quite, it's quite, um, quite good. So this does take a few minutes. Just go ahead. Just, just don't touch anything. Don't turn it off. And just go ahead and let the actual ROM file um, install onto the device. So I know I've done this a bit of a weird way around because I originally already had the lineage installed on here, but I was trying to. I've already done it just to, to then figure out how to do it to, to show you. So I would like to have already had the Samsung one on here, but you know, it's the same process. It doesn't really change because the fact that I've already got the lineage on uh, installed anyway. And the reason I've done this is because this tablet stopped at around um, version 4.1, I think, and it was running a bit sluggish. So um, I thought, you know what, they're never going to update it anymore. So I might as well, um, I might as well just uh, update it. So. Here we go so if it's done correctly we'll see done and then you can now you could potentially reboot it but first i'm going to install the google apps as well so go ahead click the google apps do the exact same thing just wait for that to flash onto there okay so we're all done on that one so once you've installed the Lineage OS, we've installed the Google app, so we can now reboot the system. And now if everything's done correctly, this is the moment of truth. If it's uh if it's been installed correctly, we should load up into the um to the lineage OS. <clears throat> it will take a little while to turn on because it's doing the first time setup, so it'll be um you know, like when you would have first got the tablet or done a, ever done a factory reset. The first boot does take like three or four minutes because it's um so if you start getting this amazon looking smiley face thing or frowny face thing we know it's um we know it's uh hopefully gone through correctly So it's frustrating because the tablet itself actually cost a lot of money when I bought it and it's not particularly too old and the hardware on it was actually really good um, but it's frustrating when Samsung just won't update it anymore past whatever it was I think it was Android 4 um, I didn't really want to buy a new tablet I don't really use this too much so the rare occasion where I wanted a tablet I thought wow this one still works fine and uh, you know why not update it to uh now it's out of warranty and I'm not going to need to replace anything. I might as well just hack it onto the, the latest, uh, little, nearly the newest Android. So it would be cool if the, uh, the newer version comes out for this, like Android 10. So I'm going to keep an eye out. If, um, if I see Android 10 ROM pop up, I'll do a, a, an updated video. So if this is taking a while, you know, don't worry. It's completely normal. Okay, here we go. Look, Lineage OS. Hey, hey. We, we're done. So this would be like the same as any first time setup on any Android device. We just scroll through, you know, United Kingdom, blah, blah, blah. So it'll go through. It'll ask you to set up like your uh, account. You can start from afresh. You can copy your data over. Same thing again. I'm going to end the video here because I don't want to get put in any of my personal uh, details here. So, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. If you've um, if you've liked it, please hit that like button. Um, if you found it helpful, please leave a comment. Um, let me know if you've managed to update your uh, tablet to anything later, uh, especially this tablet. If you managed, if you found the ROM file for a, a later version of, of Android, please, please. Um, Leave it in the comment because I would like to um, upgrade this uh, to Android 10 if possible. So, again, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.